Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to put a bullet through my father's head. But I always respected him. When I was 10 years old, I saw a man die before my eyes. It was my cousin's birthday. So my entire family was together. My abuelo was on the grill. All the kids and my cousins were playing in the back. Picture perfect. My mother sent me into the garage to get mi papa and mi tío for dinner. And when I went in there, do you know what I saw? I saw my father bludgeoning his face with a socket wrench. And I just sat there. My father didn't flinch. He just turned back around and continued working on the car as mi tío laid on the ground, bleeding out. I never asked my father why he did what he did, but I know that he did it for our family. Do you know how I got this ring? My father actually gave it to me. He snatched it off some cocksucker in the 40s who probably stole it off another cocksucker before that. He wore this every day as a medal of honor, a medal of pride. And that night when my tío laid on the ground bleeding, do you know what he said to me? He got on his knees and he said, Diego, no matter what you do in life, make sure you work hard, put food on the table, always finish a job you're committed to. And never, Never let anybody fuck over the Montoya name. <laughs> Never in a million years did I think I would have become an addict. I was always straight as an arrow, never did any wrong, colored in the lines, all that bullshit. But holy fuck, after I took my first hit, that was it. There was no going back. I was hooked. It was the easiest thing in the world to get hooked on. Nothing else quite took the edge off like this. And no, I'm not talking about the weed, you dumb fuck. I'm talking about pulling that fucking trigger. Fucking pussy! But let me tell you, killing a son of a bitch isn't all rose petals. There's so much that goes into it. I mean, who's around? Is it daytime or nighttime? Am I gonna get blood on my new sandals I snagged off of Mr. Jones last Tuesday? All of these little tiny factors are crucial for a smooth job, and if they're overlooked, or if you can't commit, you're fucked. Done. Bye-bye. No more. It takes a special kind of somebody to take on these kind of jobs. Not a lot of guys out there can confidently hold an S&W Model 686 and pull that trigger because of one reason and one reason only. They simply don't have the fucking rocks. I mean, like, it's the same story with you. Every time, like, it's the same shit. Casey, well, enough, enough. I never well, would have really. done it if I knew that it would upset you so much, okay? You're being yeah. really sensitive right now. Okay, yeah, well, I tell you every time that it upsets me, then you keep on doing it and you don't stop. Casey, Casey, like the guy. Casey, look up. There's our guy. But what's more fucked up than all this is not only that do we have the balls for this kind of shit, it's that we're really good at it too. And when you're good at what you do, work comes easy. Cash comes easy. We get job after job after job, meaning cash after cash after cash. It's like stealing your dead uncle's pension. I mean, sure, there's some work involved, but it's easy money. And the government ain't tracing cash jobs. I mean, this was the life. Nothing could beat it. Nothing in the world. 
killing meant we were living. In other news, my marks for Olympic gold medalist Bruce Jenner hosted the popular Saturday Night Live this past weekend where he's gotten rave reviews for a satirical impersonation of Barbra Streisand in full gallon garb as her character in Hello Dolly. After the show, while leaving the studio, he said to fans, I quite enjoyed wearing the dress and playing the part of a woman. Oh, fucking shit, goddammit. We're running out of, we're running out of fucking gas. Jesus, fuck. Fine. We know what they want from a man. That special something that makes them tingle inside with desire. Let L5 inspire cologne for real men and give you that spell that will make you irresistible. Stir her inside fire with L5 Conspire. Available now at Sears, Bay Rivers, Two Guys, and other stores near you. Is killing the way that I saw my life going? Fuck no. But is it a good way to make a quick buck? You bet your ass it is. How y'all doing? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Actually, we we seem to be in some sort of a bind. Uh, our car ran out of gas. We were driving down the road here. The gas station isn't for a couple miles. Do you have any way to help us out? Oh, nope. sorry, bud. Okay, no, it's it's no, it's all right. We're actually um, we're actually living out of our car. Is there is there? Don't fucking care, is man. Is there any way that you can help me out a little bit? No, listen, it's listen, man. You know you don't have to be such a fucking jerk about it, dude. We're trying to be nice here. Get fucked, Tippy. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy? Oh my god, I love your accent. <laughs> I got it from my mom. <laughs> That's nice. So, uh, y'all, uh, y'all an item? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, it's, I'm married to my work now. What's that supposed to mean? I need to take my work very, very seriously, and you know that. Yeah. Y'all fucking swingers? What? Oh, no, no, yeah, no, we're... Now I'm... Now I'm we going. Are you fucking serious, dude? Come on, let's go. Oh, you got gas? Hello? Casey. It's always the same shit with you. It's, oh always. my god, why are you so mad at me? It's like I can never Just catch a break. Relax. not even our guy, you know? What do you, just, what do you want to do? Drop him off at the bus station? We don't really have any other choices. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I'll just... Yeah, you're just gonna... You're, okay, you're waiting. Last your chance. No, so listen, sad. I'll do it if you want me I to do it. I love your hair. We had to get gas. Yeah, yeah, just gas. Okay. So is this where I, uh, you know... Yeah. Let's go, come on. This is Diego Montoya. He's a 33-year-old affiliated gang member. He does most of his business in the Bronx, but he resides here on the back of a cash envelope. Inside, I've written down his most recent house address, an old Jesus' restaurant he owns over here, and his usual hangout so you can most likely find him. Tonight is Tuesday. 
I Meaning he's going to be playing poker at 38 Beachwood Road, as he does every Tuesday night. 38 Beachwood? Wood. Beachwood. Anyway, maybe you can find him there. Do anything you have to do, do whatever you need to do, just make sure he's dead. Okay, look, um, don't jump the gun here, man, all right? We're gonna do a stakeout first. Map out our mission before we go forward with the plan. All right. Just warning you, Diego always has something up his sleeve. He'll do anything or hurt anyone. Yeah, yeah, nothing we haven't seen before. Look, uh, the payment. I can pay cash in full, the whole 30,000. Okay, I mean, no, that no, sounds... No, no. Um, so, who is this guy to you? Uh, relations. Sugar Daddy? We used to be close, but we aren't anymore. Look, if okay, you can't okay, do... What's your last name? Oh, I don't think he heard me. Excuse me! What is your last fucking name? Montoya. It's Montoya. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? What is this, your fucking brother? Why didn't you tell me this involved family? I didn't think it needed to be brought up. Yeah, okay, 50,000. What? Oh, I'm sorry. 50 fucking thousand. Or we're gonna work. Okay. Fine. Fine. Why do you want your brother dead? This really isn't the time or place to get into things. I just need this job done, all right? Okay, look, okay, I get it. You want the job done. But listen, you tell us why you want your brother dead and it'll happen. Set up. That was Beachwood right there. He passed it. Just slow down right here. Okay. Take a turn. Now, okay. okay, now fucking floor it. Casey, fucking floor it! Oh, shit, Casey, what the fuck are you doing? Let's not just sit around. We'll go, we'll, we'll, no. we'll get him right no, here. No, 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 no. We're turning the fuck around and we're re-approaching in the morning. Okay, just okay. trust no. me, all right? We'll be no. in and out. It'll Casey, be fine. Fucking no. Shut up. Ever wish you could have that beautiful head of hair like Robert Redford, John Travolta, Rick Springfield, or Donny Osmond? Casey, let's fucking go. No now. Way. Casey, no, go. Super stud style. Just like the house of our drops. Fuck. Casey, shit. No, go no, no. now. Just stay calm. It's okay. Fly. Easy to shape. With L5 Super Stud Styling Gel, you'll have the ladies purr look, look. and scratch your We'll cut them off at the end of the cul-de-sac. Done no, deal, all right? No, that's your fucking funeral, buddy. Come on, let's go. Go do it. Are you fucking kidding me? If you're gonna do it, go fucking do it. I don't want any part of that. Go. Fun.
Did you make a move? He's done. Drop the gun. Drop the fucking gun. Now come here. Shut the fuck up! Talking. You heard him, man. No, 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 no. So, how were your days? What I'm, I'm serious. How, how were your days? Maybe you didn't hear me uh, over all the commotion that we had here. How were your days, huh? Did you do anything? Did you sleep in? Did you get high? I, I know you didn't get high off of my shit. No, no, no. Did you fuck? Did, did you fuck each other, huh? Because it smells. It, it smells like somebody got fucked. Quiet, huh? You want to hear about my day? <laughs> it was actually quite nice. You know, I made some runs. I stopped at the restaurant, visited some friends. It was a beautiful day, and now I'm here. So why were you two following my car? Look, I don't want any problems. I'm in enough with plenty other guys. I, I don't need anything extra, you know, Carlos? <laughs> why were you two following my car? Uh oh, where are my manners, Carlos? Where are my manners? This, this, this right here? This is just for precautionary reasons, you know, man. Now, why don't we just be up front so we can, we can all enjoy the rest of the night. I have plenty of drinks. What the fuck? Were you following my car? I swear to God, it might have looked like we were following your car, but we were just going for a late night drive, and we were lost. I swear to God. Just, just going out on a drive? Yes, exactly. Okay, good, good. I mean, because I, I, I felt like maybe you were following. No, 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 no. I swear. I, I promise you, dude. I promise. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 Why were you following my car, huh, man? Because if there's one person you don't fuck with, it's me, Diego Montoya. If you don't speak up anytime soon, I'm gonna blow my fucking top boot off. Okay? <coughs> then I give you two options. Option one, I kill you both right now. And then I make big Carlos over here rape your mothers at your funerals. Or option two. I cut your girlfriend's fingertips off and I get the answers myself. Don't fucking touch her! Now tell me what I want to hear! Caesar sent us. Caesar, huh? My brother? Yes! <coughs> I know. You think I wouldn't check you? Come on, man. <laughs> You're weak. Grow path. When, when will he fucking get that what I do, I do for our fucking family? You're gonna kill my brother. No. You don't say no to me, bitch! No, if you want him dead, why don't you fucking kill him yourself? Because I haven't seen that son of a bitch in years. Besides, you think he's going to be happy to see me and his old friends? Fine. Let us go and we'll do it. You think I'm fucking stupid? No. The limp stays with me. You? You go with Carlos. 
You make sure the job gets done. Do we have a fucking understanding? If you fuck this up, he's dead. Hey, Mano! Que pasa? <laughs> I want you to take a look at this. Take a look at this shit, man. You like, huh? Just did some pickups. I won't be happy about that. Bring this to the back. I'm getting your coffee, okay? What's up, Mano, huh? What's happening, man? Nah, nah, same shit, man. You know, have you been keeping up with those shulos on the west side? Yeah. Those motherfuckers have been slipping up. Miguel comes up 50 short. Diego. That one about bust the cap in that fool's ass. Diego, listen. I actually have some news. Some pretty crazy shit, too. <coughs> All right, my bad. I'm going to ask Isabella to be my wife. <laughs> Holy shit, Caesar! congratulations, man. Fuck. I guess that's going to be another problem you can be adding to your plate, huh? Am I right? Yeah, yeah that's, one, that's one way to look at it. But she's a really special girl. And I want to live the rest of yeah, my life. Yeah, you know, that shit's just not for me. But you, you do you. Congratulations, OK? Anyway, that's not everything. What do you mean, that's not everything? I think it's time for me to take a step back. What do you mean, take a step back? Right now, things are the best they've ever been. We, we're good. Like, like not be involved anymore. At all. No, 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 at, no. At no. On the weekends, we'll, we'll have the ships covered at the restaurant. You can worry about your little family, no, all that. I'm from that. the restaurant. See, what the fuck are you talking about? From the entire family business. Excuse me? I'm no, keeping no. the restaurant. This is mine. I can't be getting involved with your shit anymore. I'm starting a family. You already that... have a family. I can't have your boys pulling out with guns and shit in front of Isabella. That's your business now. Keep me out of it. So I thought you'd be able to understand. Understand what, huh? That you're betraying the family, you're turning your back on me, the business we've been trying to grow in Papa's name for years? What the fuck are you, you talking really about? you really think I would risk my life when I have a wife to go home to? <laughs> you serious, huh? Yes. <laughs> fuck your cunt wife! What the fuck did you say? Fuck your cunt wife. Indigo. Yeah, it fucking sucks. No, I'm so up. bummed out now. I need this job to get done. But if you guys can't... No, Caesar, listen. You can trust us, all right? We'll get the job done. I promise. We won't fuck it up. Hi. Hey, kid. What? Your girlfriend coming back anytime soon? Knowing her, she probably already gutted your brother, hung him upside down, and is now watching the blood trickle down from his body, so I don't know. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> I like that girl. I fucking like that girl. Whatever, dude. Hey, listen, let me ask you something. What's your side to all this shit? Side to what? Why you and your brother hate each other and now want each other dead? It's none of your fucking business. What happens in the family stays in the family. <laughs> well, I mean, clearly not anymore, so, you know, might as well speak up, all right? Well, clearly, I don't have to tell you shit, so shut the fuck up! <sighs> Whatever, man. When we were kids, we were like best friends. He always had my back, always led me in the right direction like a big brother would. But when I wanted to lead him in the right direction, that didn't fly for Caesar. God forbid, Diego knew what was best for once. I made a decision. I made a decision that he couldn't have made. 
I want to protect him, our name, our family's history. But it's clear that Caesar only cares about himself. Why the fuck am I telling you this? Shut the fuck up from now on. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm really sorry to break up your fiesta here, buddy, but I, I've, I gotta take my, my pool boy. Where's your shit? Where's my girl? Oh, no. Did he scream? Is this, is this your shit? How, how did he scream? How long did he scream? Was, he, was it loud? Hey! You don't want to know about my mano's last moments? Huh? How about you? Sure. I'm really, really glad we're all amigos right now, but we do have to. No, 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 no. You stay right here. No. You stay the fuck right here! You're not going anywhere until I know. That Caesar is dead. Where is he? Show me he's dead. Where's Carlos? You fucking bitch. Is he dead? You know, I'm not sure, Casey. What do you think? Not him, Caesar. Is Caesar dead? Oh, no. Caesar's fine. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Do you have the 50,000? Okay, show me. Job is done? Yeah, it's done. I would have heard something by now if Diego was killed. Are you calling me a liar, Mr. Montoya? So he's really dead, huh? Yeah, he's dead. Took a little longer than expected, but we got the job done. No, He's dead. no, no, no. Tweedledee and fucking Tweedledum wanted each other dead. I gave them my word that I would finish both jobs and I fucking finished them. Get in the fucking car. No, no, I'm, I'm not getting in the fucking car with you. Oh, you God, fucking hurt me, hurt. bitch. I'm not getting in the fucking car with you. You've fallen in love with pulling that fucking trigger and I've had it. I fucking had it. Who even are you anymore? You're killing everyone, every job. You're putting us in danger. He didn't need to die. He didn't need to fucking die. Oh my God, you're crazy, you're crazy. Oh, you're fucking crazy. I'm done with you. Do you know the cannon worms you just opened up for me? Feel the 
same Changing linens to match the stains On the sunken and withered frame Rise to the hall and go to sleep again I swear I'm not your friend Thank you, bitch. Fine, fucking do it, I don't care. I still won't tell you shit. Shut your mouth, bitch! <laughs> oh you just hit a woman to, to confirm your dominance? That is so hot, Hulk. What are you gonna do after that? Are you gonna fucking kill me? Then how are you gonna find out who I work for? And maybe my boss has already sent a truck full of other motherfuckers out on the front lawn, your front lawn to take you out. Bullshit. That might be bullshit. You know, I see myself in you. You're strong. Your little boyfriend on the other hand, he's not on the same page as you. I know he'll budge. You know how I got this ring? <laughs>